parallels and meridians parallels a set of circles is drawn on the surface of the globe these circles run from east to west they are called parallels or lines of latitude equator the earth is divided into two equal parts by drawing an imaginary line midway between the north pole and south pole this line is called equator northern and southern hemisphere the part of the earth which lies to north of the equator is called the northern hemisphere the other half is known as the southern hemisphere important features of parallels all parallels are complete circles except for the north pole and the south pole these are points the length of the parallels decreases as we move away from the equator and towards the poles all parallels are located at an equal distance from each other parallels neither touch nor crosses one another numbering the parallels we start from the equator and mark it as 0 degree latitude the north pole is written as 90 degree n the south pole is written as 90 degree s the other parallels are marked from 0 to 90 degree apart from their value the parallels are also marked as n or s according to their location important parallels there are four other important parallels these are the tropic of cancer 23 and a half degree n the tropic of cape fricon 23 and a half degree s the arctic circle 66 and a half degree n the antarctic circle 66 and a half degree s the arctic and the antarctic circles are also called polar circles meridians imaginary line running from north to south are called meridians or lines of longitude these lines are drawn from pole to pole important features of meridians all meridians are of same length the maximum distance between any two meridians is at the equator the distance between any two meridians decreases as we move away from the equator towards the poles meridians cut the parallels at right angles meridians are used to measure distance in the east west direction important features of meridians in 1884 it was decided to fix greenwich a place near london as the starting point for numbering meridians the meridians that passed through greenwich was marked as 0 degree and named prime meridian the longitude of a place is measured east or west of the prime meridian a full circle has 360 degrees meridians are drawn at an interval of 1 degree there are 180 meridians towards the east of the prime meridian and 180 meridians towards the west of the prime meridian the meridians which are towards the east are marked as e and the meridians towards the west are marked as w the meridian of 180 degree e and 180 degree w is the same line thus there are 360 meridians locating places to locate a place we must know the values of both its parallel or latitude and its meridian or longitude parallels and meridians form a network of lines on the globe this is called a grid the point at which the parallel and the meridian cross each other is the location of that place now let's recall 
The two end points on the Earth's axis are called poles. The North Pole is in the Northern Hemisphere and the South Pole is in the Southern Hemisphere. Lines of latitude, also called parallels, are drawn from east to west. The equator is the longest parallel, are drawn from east to west. Lines of longitude are also called meridians. They are drawn from north to south. The prime meridian is taken as the starting line for all other meridians. The network of parallels and meridians on the globe is called a grid. To locate a place on a globe, we must know its latitude and longitude. Thank you.